back to another man <laughs> cooking show. It happened to be a Tuesday afternoon. I hit up my boy, Jerbs. Mikey T, talk to me. What are you doing, Jerbs? What are you doing? I'm working, Mikey. I'm working. He told me to come over, so I started driving over there. As soon as I walked in the place, I was hit in the face with a bunch of smells and sounds. <laughs> So I said what's up to Jer, and he goes, Mikey, I'll make you something to eat. So naturally, I started watching him. Because I'm gonna steal his recipe. Dad! As soon as Jerk gave it to me, I couldn't wait to eat it. So I went to my car and I started trying it. And immediately I started screaming, And I was like, ah, I can't believe I've never made this before. So today we're gonna be making rigatoni alla vodka. Let's go to Publix. Let's go over the ingredients I just bought at Publix. All right, let's get started. <laughs> Step number one, I'm number one. Hashtag Joe Dirt, hashtag Joe Deer Dirt. <laughs> but step one is you put oil in the pan. Once it's hot, we're gonna throw the onions and the garlic in there. Once the garlic and onions are cooked, I'm gonna throw some prosciutto. I like the big chunky pieces. And you're gonna hear it snap, crackle, and pop in this mother. This is where the flavor comes in and you put the heavy cream in there. Now at this point you want to throw in your tomato sauce or you can use crushed tomatoes and you let it thicken a little bit. Thick it in the arm, kid. While your sauce is cooking, you want to boil your pasta. You want to make sure that you have the olive oil and the salt in the water. Olive oil, salt, and water, mm. Olive oil, salt, and water, mm. Olive oil, salt, and water, mm. Please don't unsubscribe. Well, now you drain your pasta and throw it in the sauce. And it better be al dente. Finally, you add a handful of peas right at the end. Secret of the pros. I am definitely going to need a Pellegrino after all this cream and butter, chili powder. So good, so good. Now, even though the ingredients are almost identical to Jers, it still tastes a lot different. They're both amazing, but different. Now it all goes with the hand. If I had to pick one out of two, it would definitely be. I need you to try it and then rate it. Oh, this is a 10. Nah. Wait a minute. This is a 12. And that is it, guys. So thank you so much for tuning in to another <laughs> Cooking Show. I'll
talk to you later. Ugh.